Hey guys, Solly from Risky Bars here. Hi. All right, this time, first of all, I owe Udo a apology because I promised him to do a review about a Scottish whiskey. But yeah, like it, like it is, um, there is something in between. I was in Kiel last weekend and I visited my favorite whiskey shop there and just saw that one, another white whiskey. And I was allowed to try it and was like, yep, you're mine. <laughs> so I thought it is a cool idea to do the review of this one today as it is a rye whiskey as well. And we can compare that to the one from last week a little bit. So here we go. The distillery itself was built in a former corset factory and is located in Michigan. The distiller and founder Bill, Bill Welter had developed and perfected the recipe of his rye whiskey at the Koval distillery, which is in Chicago. And also the first rye whiskey of him was distilled there and was um, bottled in cask and then transported to the journeyman distillery. And the whiskey was originally named Ravenswood rye whiskey, just to the reference to the Ravenswood district where the Koval distillery is. But because of legal reasons, um, there's just left a last feather of the raven. And that's why it's called Last Feather Y Whiskey. I've got a batch 84 out of 556, if that is important. Just a few words to the whiskey itself. Obviously, it's made of rye. <laughs> Here we got 60% of rye and the other 40% no, are not corn, but they it is um, wheat. Yeah, uh, which is pretty cool. And you will see why in a few minutes. It was majored in white American oak barrels and the whiskey itself won two gold medals at San Francisco World Spirits Competition and it got 45% percent all right talked enough and we'll see if it's worth two gold medals oh you've got the seasoning of the rye but you also have like it's together with foodie aromas like banana oranges kind of melon and later on you have kind of nuts and Oh, baked apples and kind of shortbread oh, and then you have the rye again oh, it's a really in total it's a really complex aroma very harmonic very balanced and you always discover something new oh i love that mm. Mm -hmm. yeah you also have of course you have the spiciness of the rye coming through together with pepper mm, and kind of mint and you also have the sweet undertone of the wheat which is really great and also the foodiness that we already smelled you find in the taste again but you also find wood mm, and cinnamon and kind of uh, cloves it's a great interplay together of spiciness, sweetness and fruitiness. Wow, it's really very complex, but not too complex that you are overwhelmed, but you are happy to try the next sip as uh, you will discover something new. And I really like that. Oh, yummy. The finish is like medium long and you also find the oak again, the spiciness and kind of ginger. And it's getting a little bit dry. But I like that. Um, yeah, so yummy. It's really a great interplay of everything. And yeah, you're just happy to uh, take the next sip. It's really good. As I told you last week, there are other rye whiskies that are more complex and more edgy. And with that one, you have uh, such a rye whiskey. I bought that one for 36 euros. And for me, it's a great value for money. It's a really great whiskey. You're always discover something new in smell and taste um, and you're just happy to sip it and it's very smooth and gentle and I really like that one. So for me it's really harmonious um, and I really do like it. 
And of course, like every week, I would like to know, do you know the whiskey or do you know the distillery? Uh, just leave me a comment and till then I say till next time. Bye bye. But then I thought it would be cool to do the review of this one today. Complexi the complexity. It's an awesome um, 